Who has problems with buying things that they don't need? Who has problems with buying many things they don't need? Even though they know they don't need them. Today we are taking a look at the Canon EOS M. One of those things that I bought that I did not need. But maybe I do. Today we're taking a look at what might be a $150 vlogging rig. Took three pieces of technology that I bought that I did not need. A $20 tripod that is unbranded. You can spend 15 more bucks and get a small rig one, same size, and work a lot better. And a Sarmonic SRM3, a $20 microphone. I would honestly recommend going the Deity or Rode route. And then the Canon EOS M with a 15 to 45 kit lens which I used for my M50. The EOS M, very interesting. From 2012, an 18 megapixel sensor uses the EFM mount lenses. It's not a bad camera. The autofocus may not be the best and the audio actual jack is not the highest quality. I've done a little bit more research. We're not going the Magic Lantern route and we're gonna stick in the normal 1080p, 30 and 24 frames. But we're gonna have some fun and let's hop inside and take a deeper look at the Canon EOS M. All right, the Canon EOS M, the $150 vlogging rig. I'll be honest, I didn't buy this camera to show it off and I'm not making this video to show it off as a vlogging rig. I bought it to prove a point. The Canon EOS M is a cheap, amazing, awesome camera small fits right in your camera bag and it's a great addition to what you already have if you're just starting out there are better options you can use your phone obviously um, especially if you have something like the 13 Pro Max here but I wanted to make this not to show off the new technology but to show off the old and to show what the Canon EOS M can do I just showed what it can do in a vlog setting we're gonna hop over and see some footage that I just shot that's baller and we're gonna do some comparisons in the future, bring it on trips and use it as a B camera. It's gonna to add to some production value and I'm gonna use it to prove a point that you don't need the newest camera out there. We're gonna pop over some footage right now and check out what this camera can do. making a video on the EOSM, exactly what I just said. I wanna show off older things and things that are kind of underrated. I wanna take this camera and I wanna put Sigma 56 and get some nice 1.4 low aperture shots. And I wanna try out the manual focus because the autofocus in this camera is whack. No, it's not good at all. Nothing compared to the M50, which I'm filming on right now. But it gives me challenge it's got some character too the sensor is 18 megapixels it's a little softer i kind of like that to give me a similar but different look than the m50 subtle but different and i'm just gonna use it as intended a camera we're gonna check out what this camera can do in the future and we're gonna bring it on some trips we're gonna compare it with the m50 with my iphone 13 pro max so i hope you all got some uh high value out of what I just said. Please like and subscribe down below. I'm Brad G Media, signing out. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.